<laughs> no, you didn't. It was the pre-duck. You have to be oh, careful. Girls oh, are starting to oh, stalk. Oh, 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 oh. You? Nah. Oh. Even I think it's fun. This <laughs> <laughs> yeah. shit, Jerry? That's fine. Were you born for this? Nope. You Probably were, nothing. I you was born, born in 92. You were born. I'm this born is like 90. Okay. He was born in 92? You was born in 92? I was in 91. This ain't no 90 song. This is 2000s. That's no. crazy. Yeah, that's 2000. The club I remember going to when I was younger was The Hangar. You hear me? Yeah, me too. Yeah, oh. right there no, off of uh, Air Harder. They started shooting that bit up. They started shooting they that did bit not. up. Hey, y'all. Y'all ready? Welcome to another episode of In Opinions. I'm Jazz. You got Pooh over there. Whoa. You got Trey. Welcome back, Trey. Hello, 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 everyone. We missed you last episode. And then we have E Buckles. What's the poppin'? E Buckles. Wish him. The man in the building. Wish him. The man with the cam. Yeah, that <laughs> that should be a hashtag. You are proud that, huh? I did. You like <laughs> she it? wrote that down. Uh, she gonna say man that. With the cam. Like, <laughs> uh, well, if you don't know, E Buckles, that buck, is a very. I don't even. I, I feel like when I try to introduce you, it's like. Like, you're so young, but I make it sound like I'm introducing Spike Lee. Hold on. Future How Spike old are Lee. you, Jazz? He's younger than me. Like, by two years or that, something? That counts. No, it don't. Only young this people think that counts. This man has done videos for Kevin Gates. <laughs> yeah. Kevin NBA Gates, NBA Young yeah. run, run, run it off. Run it off. Who else? What a credit. Who else? What a exceptional credit. generosity. Who else? You, you do it yourself. To the public through my music. You can brag up. Nah, nah, I don't want to start off Large bragging. Large scale but like, but nah, portraits of yeah, local I people who I mean something to different communities. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I live generously. Like, I, mean, but like even, I live royally. Even that expands past hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. doing shit for the city. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, damn, I forgot about that. That's See? Crazy. Yeah. See? That's how you know you're <laughs> shit. Oh, that's I forgot. Cool. But nah, but nah. But that's, right. uh, that's fine. That's exciting. And you're from New Orleans. Yep, and I'm from I'm New proud Orleans. Of you. That's the biggest part. And I'm you don't yeah. keep it local, though. You all over. Yeah. You're everywhere with it. Absolutely. That's but like, up. but, but, but to that point, you know, um, um, I want to talk to, uh, to, to some students earlier and like you know uh i told them that like you know like one of my biggest things is like when i can keep it local and like hire local crews mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and like hire local talent like you know like for example the whole young boy video that we shot like t- like two months ago that was like only people from new orleans made money off that project and like you know we are hire like 40 people uh so. and and then and then at the kevin gage pro- um project was literally like all locals, mm-hmm. local talent, local local uh, crews, and like you know. That's what's so. Up. Do you see? Do it seem like there's a lot of youngsters trying to get into that that game now, or that business? Yeah. Because I guess, I guess just the way. Social media. Yeah, social mm-hmm. media and hip hop. The influence you think. What it's, business? The rap business or? Uh, I'm talking about the film. The like, film like, business. Yeah, yeah. Um. Absolutely, man. I mean, uh, I think that, I, I think that, for one main reason is that YouTube. I mean, you know, um, right. you know, I remember. At a very young age, that um, you know, in high school, everybody wanted to kind of be rappers. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But like now, and 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 you know, when I was in high school, I graduated in 2010. But like when I was in high school, I was like, I was like the <laughs> only, I was like the only person like playing around with cameras. Like right. you know, me, mm-hmm. me and this other dude named um, uh, Q Dot Jones and, and my homie AB, Mid City AB. Right, and I wasn't even taking it serious then, but like you know, people saw absolutely no future in cameras then. Yeah. But now, because of YouTube and like you know, because you're seeing 14 year olds, and I mean, like I mean, fuck that, you're seeing 10 year olds make millions of dollars off of just doing tour reviews. That's probably when right. it really What's started. What's the name of that kid? People taking it serious What's the name of that kid that do the tour reviews? I don't know, but I know his what my parents just buy him toys. I think it's a little Asian kid. Yeah, yeah. 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 And eight million dollars. Yeah, yeah. 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 million. Most views. Twenty six yeah. million dollars last year. Absolutely. So. So like you know, I think that definitely I don't, I don't think we're in position to say that, especially in New Orleans, that this this has become a career that is definite yet, but it's getting there. Like right. you know, it's definitely getting like you know like getting to the point. I was just talking to my homie Shaq just now um, about how there's just so many ways to make money off of media and like mm-hmm. you know off of like not just cameras but like everything or, like around like surrounding media podcasts. Right. You know, just the um, whole production system, social media. Right. Like, but you gotta be you gotta be a certain type of person. You know right. what I'm saying? Like you know because like. That's Be, some technical shit. Yeah, yeah, and like being like being like an entrepreneur in media or like you know in 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 like film and like you know photography, I think specifically is different because you really gotta make work. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, yeah, and, you're and it's it. there. Yeah. You're doing it for sure. I, re- I, res- I respect that you, everybody in like the House of the Young whole production company is like locals, um, people we grew up with. Because I feel like New Orleans has a lot of talent, but sometimes we get overshadowed by... All Fifteen people shot yeah. on Bourbon Street. The negativity is exactly. always negativity. Well, uh, that's a, that's so the, annoying. I know you did a Absolutely. couple of things for the city. Sh- shot a couple of things about the culture, the city, and all that. W- explain us w- w- what that's about. Yeah, house of the young. For yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. So I mean, like, thank you. Um, you know, like just to piggyback off of, off of like that, and like you know what exactly house of the young is. So as you know, uh, you know, house of the young started off as like just like this brand that that was mainly like uh, um. It was just basically an event, you know what I'm saying? And that was all sparked from um, when I was in high school. I used to sneak into these concerts, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, and awesome. yeah, and like you know, I would like you know just kind of observe and peep game. And like then, like you know, I got cool with, cool with the promoter, and like you know, I'm meeting like all these artists that are coming like you know to town, mm-hmm. and like I'm meeting them firsthand. So then like. One show was very interesting. Uh, it was with the, uh, I think it was with Big Sean, and it was this group. Um, at Tulane? <clears throat> it was at uh, Howlin' Wolf. Mm-hmm. And it was this group, um, their name is uh, Made Groceries. And, 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 I went to high school with one of the dudes. Uh, I think their name wasn't Made Groceries. Like at the time, matter of fact, I think it was just one of them, Lou. Shout out Lou. And like, I saw Lou performing at this event. And then he was like, but at the event, nobody was paying attention because, like, like, you know how niggas is at, at those concerts. Like, yeah, yeah. who is this? Yeah. Where's Big Sean? You know what I'm saying? Like, how long this nigga like, gonna be? Right. That's yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Two exactly. Minutes ago. So, Where, yeah, it? yeah. And like you know, <laughs> and like you know, I'm peeping. I, like you know, I'm peeping. And then like you know, but like, it was actually good. And like. I didn't know too many people in high school that was actually doing shows, so mm-hmm. that was like the coolest shit of my life. Like I, I'm like, man, like these niggas on stage, like about right. to go on before Sean. So then I asked him, and then he was like, yeah, bro, like you know, but uh, you know, uh, I can't keep on perf- like you know performing because like you know like these niggas be charging too much, like you know, to, to perform. To yeah. perform, and like it was just something about that, like. You know, like, like, it's like my grandma said, it was something about that that didn't sit right with my spirit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, I was like, man, like, these dudes young trying to get it. Like, you know, like, why are they paying to perform? Of course, now I understand. Like, I get it. But then, like, that kind of sparked me to, like, you know, like, want to do my own right. events, That's which turned way, into uh, yeah, House sure. of the Young, which right. was to, like, you know, basically create, like, a platform and, like, yeah. an audience for people my age that was doing all type of arts. And this wasn't, like... Well, it started off where? What was the first venue? Uh, it started. It started. It, it started off um um at a restaurant, man. You know, like shout out my people, Pint, man. Like uh, I just saw Pint like a few days ago, but he had this uh this restaurant called the Suite mm-hmm. over on the West Bank in our uh, Elges, and like we did it over there. And but you ended up in the freaking crazy. House I of really Blues. Yeah, that. yeah. Like uh, we all started off at the Suite, and I, I did that one for free. And it was for Black History Month, and like it was going to be a one-time thing, and mad people came it was out. Lit, I was yeah, there. yeah, 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 absolutely. And yeah, then my yeah, mom. I know exactly what you're talking about, though, mm. with all the pains. Yeah, the yeah, 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 exactly. Look at that, connect. That was me, that. yeah. <laughs> so like you know, I was like 18, like 17, 18 when I did that, like not taking it serious, like you know, I was more so like you know, like just really trying to like, like you know, like figure out like you know, like what I wanted to do, like you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, like. So then, uh, after that, uh, like you know. Pint and everybody who came was like, man, like when the next one, I was like, I, I ain't think that far ahead. Mm-hmm. Right. So then, like you know, but then I had like a dilemma, like my mama paid for everything for that show, and like right. she said, nigga, if you go do any more, you need to charge to get in. So like I was like, man, I don't know about charging. Like people might not come. So then, like eventually, I charged five dollars. People came. So I was like, damn, and like. I think that that does something for like you know like 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 young people, especially in the South, right. when when people are willing to pay you for your art, you know right. what I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. people came, and then like you that's know like when you know truly yeah, it just like, it just yeah, like it know, just like yeah. kind of like blew up, and you he know, went from it being free to like real house of blues tickets, yeah. tickets, tickets to stuff, money, taxes and shit, double nines, like 
Like yeah. and that's exciting. And, and who hosted it? Oh yeah, and and then finally, uh, yeah, like you know, and then finally, like you know, like once we got to the House of Blues, I was like, man, we need to add some taste levels to this shit, and like you know, add some structure to it. So uh, we got Jasmine to host it along with Steezy. Steezy, Lord. <laughs> yeah. I used to try to host Steezy. I'm like, can you calm down, calm a little down, bit? so I can say what I gotta say. Yeah. Shout out to Steezy. And and like you know, uh, I'm definitely proud to say that, like you know, like you know, like together, like we we. We gave at least over like 500 artists like their Girl. first time. Then on you had stage a show ever. dedicated you know to Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne shout oh, the yeah, show yeah. out. Manny Fresh was the DJ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like um, for real. And then like I think that one of our biggest shows was the one we did. Uh, it was the Lil Wayne um, mm -hmm. uh, tribute, and like somehow Lil Wayne heard about it and then shouted us out, and like you know. Everything kind of like you know went crazy after that, but now House of the Young, um, because I've been like you know really really focused on my film work, uh, I've transformed House of the Young to not only a event, but now it's the name. Well, it's the it's the actual production company behind yeah. all of my projects. That's what's up. Bro. That's yeah. what's up. Brand. Shout out. Brand, brand name. Man. The brand. Yeah. That's what's Born up. and bred in New Orleans. Shit. So right. let's talk about some things you have coming up though, because one thing that we're all anticipating. Speaking of young, <laughs> the young blood. I right, know what you're about to say. Katrina babies. Yeah. I what, I am the, like that's what I was talking I, about. I, I consider myself a Katrina baby. I mean you are. You I am, sure. right? I was what, a freshman in high school? Yeah, that's well, yeah, that's for sure. Oh Lord, yeah. hippo Trey, you was I in was the eighth grade? I was in the eighth grade. No way. Yup, I know for Where were y'all? I was Grown, in, I wasn't family. Even, yeah, nah, I wasn't family yet, but I wasn't even <laughs> living down here with Katrina Hill. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I was, was definitely way, in Katrina, I was living baby. way in D.C. Katrina, baby. <laughs> yeah, you you was probably like, what? Life had already started. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, we out here. And it's so crazy how Hold now Katrina is like a, 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 a vantage point for people. Like, was this before, before Katrina? Oh, yeah. Yeah. After Katrina? Katrina? Oh, I met her before Katrina. That was it's after become Katrina. A mark. And that's actually like... We are going to stylistically um, uh, incorporate that into the film, like mm -hmm. you know, like almost like ACBC, mm -hmm. like you yeah, know, like like after Christ, after, before Christ, mm -hmm. after Christ, before Christ, whatever. Uh, so I, I always go be, you know, like before Katrina, after Katrina. I don't know why I just said that on the air. Like, nah, niggas about to, like, somebody about to figure out a way to use that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We might scratch it. We might scratch it. No, 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 no. It's all good. It's, it's all good. Already, but no, that's real life, though. A nigga can't do that, man. Yeah. I'm right. excited about it, though. I'm but, like, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I've been working on that, on that for a minute. Like, you know, uh, I started that, like, I think uh what 2014. Um so like it's it's definitely been my baby, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um uh and now and like it's been a journey like you know just kind of like growing like you know anybody who who's ever like worked on a documentary or, or, or like done a documentary is definitely uh a a a taxing process, yeah, you know what I'm lot saying? Of that you yeah, gotta, yeah, like it's like a lot of research you got to do, especially because I started doing this when I was 20. Um and it's like I took on like a very, 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 I think, like responsible task of like being like the a voice for like young people. For sure. You know, mm -hmm. like they were tra yeah. like traumatized. Mm -hmm. So um I think that uh, you know, I've stopped a few times, like, you know, like just so mm -hmm. that I can get my peace of mind, whatever. So right. now but like yeah, it's been like a great experience. Like, you know, like basically like the uh, film is about uh the adolescence and exploring like their narratives is figure out exactly how they were impacted by the storm. So like, right. so like you know, uh, like for example, like going to like that thirteen year old or like us being in eighth grade and ninth grade. You feel what I'm saying? And like you know, actually like talking about okay, how has this impacted you? And the uh, the uh, interesting piece about the documentary is that this is like a lot of people's first time talking about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like. It's also like kind of serving as like this counseling session. Therapy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, like so, so, and because many of us didn't get therapy, like you. Yeah. Like, like no, no I'm asking. Probably no. Well, it was, yeah, it was right. almost like it was under the rug, y'all children. You just evacuate. You mm -hmm. don't really know what's going on. When in, right. in reality, we're taking everything in as yep. a child. Absolutely. Your work, and, and I turned up. Just right, as like, much like, as like your uh, did. Uh, an adult, yeah. right? And like, sadly, sadly, most of the time. Most of the time in in like you know like tragedies, kids are like the left behind. Well, 
they're the ones that are like kind of undermined. Yeah, they and get the least consideration mm -hmm. as far mm -hmm. as the yeah. trauma. Yeah, you know exactly. What I'm PTSD. Yeah, exactly. And like you know, um, um, I interviewed this expert. Um, her name is uh, Kathleen Whelan, and she received uh, forty million dollars to a study trauma within schools in New Orleans from Tulane. Um, oh and, yeah, no, okay. yeah, and like, my school. yeah, 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 and like you know amazing woman like mm -hmm. uh like she's been doing this research and like she started this program called safe school nola mm -hmm. um safe schools nola and basically it like teaches like you know our, our school system to like kind of teach with like a trauma lens because like believe it or not like you got 70 like, percent of the kids in your classroom are experiencing right. something outside of the classroom that's making them act a certain yeah, way yeah. yeah and like a lot of that shit roots back to Katrina and like before Katrina and like believe it or not many schools are not operating with a trauma lens so mm -hmm. it's like if you see a kid misbehaving your job is to write them up first instead of like evaluate and say okay why why is this kid mm -hmm. yeah. misbehaving so like you know uh, many people were like really really messed up by this storm obviously but you know like like this film actually goes deeper to like show exactly like what the kids are going through right well, we're definitely sure. looking forward to that facts man. for sure <laughs> man. Yeah. you yeah. gotta don't never Appreciate feel it. rushed with it man oh, take your nah, time that's, nah. that's a, it's a sensitive topic man but like it is coming. I mean, you know, yeah, I don't. Yeah, when I don't, you expect it to drop, or, so, you, or you don't, you don't have an act exact date. Well, um, so I definitely want to be ready for the fifteenth to drop something. Okay. Like uh uh, we're working on post production right now. I'm very I'm very like you know excited to say that like it all definitely took me to bring bring some more people onto the process so that they can say okay nigga you done you know right. what I'm saying because right. it's like you would have kept going. I would have kept going. You know what I'm saying like yeah. because like it's just tricky because like every. You got to realize that every year a new generation goes into the real world and it's like that's when you really see how the uh, youth have mm -hmm. been affected when they start being like the people that's working in your banks yeah, and like exactly. working Adults. working working in your world it's like that's when you can really feel it right. you know what i'm saying and like that's when you say oh damn like that's when the people like i mean that's a Katrina baby right. you know what i'm saying so yeah it's deep it goes it's way deep deeper. as fuck yeah well on a lighter note <laughs> you've been traveling yeah. You were in New York, you were in Tight. LA, you were in Motherland. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Twice, yeah. yeah. Um, What's up I mean, that, that Motherland. I'm jealous. I'm, I'm trying to I've go. Been a, I've been in Africa twice in the past month, man. Like that's just crazy. Like two different parts of Africa, like 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 two different like right. sides, you know what I'm saying? But two like different hoods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like that's the real hood. I ain't gonna lie. Like after leaving that, I don't take nothing serious like like in America. I don't wanna say it like that. Right. Just don't That's the real them. struggle. Right. Mm -hmm. You want to see a real gangster go to Africa. Yeah. yeah. It ain't no in betweens though. Like that's yeah. what's interesting. Like, right. well, it's, it's poor and wealthy. Yeah. I'm gonna start off with the good shit first. Like, <laughs> like, like, yeah. like first of all, like that shit absolutely changed my life. Like, you know, going to Africa. Like, the yeah, first time I went to Africa, I, uh, I went because my uh, baby sister lives there. She's been living us for, uh, for the past eight months. And, like, you know, uh, at first, like, you know, everybody was kind of weary of, like, her going and, like, mad sketched out uh, because it's like, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, imagine having a daughter and then she graduates college and then say, hey, I'm moving to Africa. Like, nigga, right. nigga what? Why? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, mm -hmm. but, Where at, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you going to yeah, be doing? why? Like, you know, whatever. But it's like, I think that goes to everything that we've been told about Africa is not real. Like, mm -hmm. like, like, we've been given bad bad perceptions of like what Africa misinformation. Is. Yes, bad information. That's what they do. By like the by like the people that's, you know, like right. holding us back, you know what I'm saying? So uh speaking of that, Akon just bought a whole city over there. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like bought a city and, and, and a whole city. You know, I, know I and saw like, something on the ground when it was like if you come to Ghana or something you get like uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, get to that. yeah. Some cheese. Yeah. yeah, man. So like, you know, I was in Tanzania. Now, that's a much poorer part of Africa um in which I'm glad that I like you know like my first country that, that uh, I visited in like like on the continent was Tanzania. I'm I, because like I, like I was really humbled by that and like I got like a real a real 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 experience of like what mm -hmm. Africa was like. The you know, people people were so beautiful. I and know you saw some fine black women out there. Oh <laughs> yeah, <bar>. man. <laughs> Cheeks. <laughs> This dude crazy. Holding the, the, the <laughs> lemons on top of their head, walking. No, here. man. No, there you go. That's the. That's the. That's the. That's the. Lemon. Who like, killed my little brother? <laughs> no, man. Yeah, no, man. man. And then, like, actually, like in 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 like Tanzania, oh um, man, like. It's like a very, very religious place, you know what I'm saying? Like like everybody's either Muslim or Christian. Okay. Um no, I'm sorry. It's a mad spiritual place. So like, you know, it's like 
just like shit is just super woke out there and like super real out there. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So yeah. it's like you learn on the go. It's like, you know, like, you know, here, like you would think that money is associated with education. You know what I'm saying? But right. there it's like they don't have money. Right. And like that's some of the most brilliant people that like I've, I've ever met in my life. That's it's also dope. like, you know, like some of the realest people I met in my life, like, you know, whatever. Uh, and like, you know, I was actually like, I actually traveled to like, you know what I'm saying? Like the villages and shit. Like that. Right. The pictures you took were amazing. That's, that's yeah, just yeah. some I'm like, you're already shit. good with a camera, but I'm like, damn, like. Actually, yeah. But when it's, when, you, when you're in front that type of beauty, <laughs> that really just bring out the talent in, I'm in the tell person you, controlling the it, camera. They like, are amazing pictures. I'm going to tell you, uh, I wasn't go on. Um, um, I wasn't going to um, film anything out there. I brought my camera, but I was I like, man. I remember you saying that. I was like, man, I don't, like, I, I didn't feel comfortable. Uh, how much money you gave away? I know you gave away some money <laughs> to the kids. <laughs> I did, I did. I've been to Jamaica now, two times, yeah. Mexico, them kids, man. It's just Yeah, like, so, but. Little shoes on, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They got little cans with a stick on the end of it, and they asking for money. Like, yes, uh, well, well, so, like, you know, like, my situation was this. Uh, like, I had to go talk to a school. And like once I went and talked to the school, like they wanted to learn about cameras. Well, no, no, I wanted to, I wanted to teach them about cameras and shit. Yeah. And then like I learned that they had never seen a camera in their life. Mm -hmm. Like, 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 like. So never it's like seen a camera. Like they have film classes, but they don't have cameras. They have computer classes, but they don't have computers. Right. You understand what I'm pictures, saying? Though. It's just pictures and like you know like yeah. like like no. I, I mean really, it's just imagination. Mm -hmm. That Damn. like you feel what I'm saying? So like you know after that. I had kind of got like this reputation of, oh, somebody is in town with a camera. So like I had grown men off the street walking up to me like trying to see a camera for trying to time. trying to like get me to teach them how to work the cameras. Right. It was some wild yeah, shit, you know what I'm saying? Blowing. So then like that gave me the confidence to like, you know, like like uh it was this dude named out there named Young Ochu. Shout out Ochu, you know what I'm saying? And like Ochu took me around to like different hoods, like, you know, with the camera. And like, you know, I shot mad shit. Actually, I'm working on that video right now. I'm in the process of getting it scored by a producer. So That's I'm, I'm going to be putting that, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, putting that out soon, too. That's but yeah. Dope, but, and then after that, I got from that project, pe like, pe like people saw my pictures. And this video commissioner saw my picture. Uh, and she reached out to me about this project that I was supposed to be shooting, like, you know, uh, for a YG in, in uh, L.A., that didn't fall through, and I was pissed off. So then in Africa, she hit me up and was like, damn, you in Africa? I'm going to have a project for you in December. And then she hit me up in December and was like, yo, I need you to go to um to uh, fucking Nigeria next week. I said, what? She was like, I'm going to need you to go, like, you know, go out there next week to uh, do this documentary. Uh, I can't talk about like you know like what it's about right now, but yeah. it's, it's gonna be crazy. That's dope, right. though. We are interview man. Megan Thee Stallion, uh, fucking Devito. We got Burner Wait, Boy coming. Yeah, yeah. Like, a couple of episodes ago, we were arguing over how tall she is. She's tall, like uh, like like a little taller than me. Like you see, I think that we said, what we said five. What we gave her what five nine. I said six two. She definitely like six one. Lord. Hell she, no. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, because like <laughs> because like you know like I, I'm crazy. what five nine five like like I'm like five yeah. nine and like five ten maybe. I'm five mm -hmm. nine. Like, yeah. And 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 like she was like you know like definitely because actually I posted a uh, picture on Twitter and like you know I like you know felt some type of way because like. Y'all know Twitter is full of Josephs. And this girl was like, oh, my God, I love when Megan is towering over niggas. Oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, I felt like a little boy, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But, yeah, yeah like, no, she was definitely tall. With the heels yeah. on, she probably, like, 6'4". Oh, yeah. She had on you heels, too. Saying? I feel like that's what I'm when... Saying. That's what make her 6'1". When she, she beautiful, though, dog. When she does yeah. her six little six knee, knee thing, is she still your height? Because I feel like when she do the little... That's the, I don't know. Like, she didn't do that. The like, I don't the know. knee thing. He said, I don't know she didn't do that. But, like, me and her connected instantly because it's like... uh. I told her that I was from New Orleans, and like, one of the crazy things about Africa is like, once you go to Africa, you humble up because like you know like Mace was out there, um, um, and oh we interviewed God. Mace. Oh my God, Mace. Yeah, like yeah, <laughs> we were interviewing Mace, and like, and like, like everybody was just so humble out there, like 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 you know what I'm saying because of the fact that you know this is not you your in the motherland, home, right? you know what I'm saying? So like you know me and her connected fast, and like you know I interviewed her, and then like after that I was like yeah like you know I'm up from New Orleans or whatever like blah 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 and like you know like we all ran it you know what I'm saying? But shout like out to man. Man. yeah man, man shout out to make the sell you yeah and those wow, knees child <laughs> <laughs> those knees yeah, yeah. I need me a uh, 
a, a rich go. chick to I'm come to pick up a regular come. nigga like Nicki Minaj did. You hear me? I'm out here. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? Street nigga. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely proud of you. There's Appreciate this, it. This long line of growth that I've seen. I'm not. I'm waiting on him to be Spike Lee. I'll uh, be the man, assistant yeah. nah, camera a, girl. Like, 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 yeah, like. I'm I excited. Definitely fuck with Spike. You know what I'm saying? I intern for Spike, but like, I'm, a, I'm be sure on a whole different level than Spike. I, like, I can't wait. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't wait. Yeah. So I can so say. You, yeah, that's what I wanted to ask you though. What's your goals? Like, what's your, what, what you want? Like, I'm, what's your end goal? I mean, like, you know, I mean, honestly, dog, like, you know, right now. You know, you know. At first, I was saying uh, that you know, like, like all my life, I was like, you know, I want to move away and like, all you know, my direct life projects, I had whatever. To fight. But it's like now, it's like you know, I, I still want to live other places, mm -hmm. but it's like I want to just like tell stories about like you know New Orleans and the South. Right. And like you know, I want to put that on like a Hollywood standard, and like you know, like that's what I've been and able not, to do. Like oh, we don't eat gumbo every day. No, like, show like the real, real side. shit. Like yeah, yeah, like, yeah, mm -hmm. and and like some real shit. And like you know, like that's one of the things that like I think that you know I'm valued with in like the music video world right now. In which I don't want to stay in the music video world only, but it's like right now it's like you know I'm not. I don't want to say only person, but like I'm putting out the big budget projects from New Orleans, and like we ain't never really have like big big budget music videos coming out of New Orleans from right. New Orleans. You know right. what I'm saying? I mean right. like all the way crew by New Orleans directed in New Orleans like 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 you know like whatever. So it's like I would like to keep that whole thing streamlined as up, I yeah. approach documentaries and movies and shit like that because, like, that's search. what's coming. Absolutely. And think about the videos that I, I can't think of one off the top of my head, but the videos that outsiders come and direct, and you like, what? Like, what I are y'all doing? I mean, like, uh, oh boy did a video, uh, 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 yeah, a movie. Um, what's his name? The dude from RZA. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, remember that shit? Yeah, yeah. Third Warts. You remember yeah. that shit? Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't. It's just like it's not real to the the natives here. We look at it and we're like, eh. Well, so nah. what, so what, who are some of the directors that you do like, though? I mean, Spike. Yeah, like you know, like definitely Spike. Um, not even not even our movie, but no, 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 video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah like I mean? people always assume that because I interned with Spike, that Spike was the person that made me pick up a camera. It's not true. Right. Uh, actually, like you know, like like believe it or not. Like you know, um, and I feel like a bad student, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even really watch many Spike movies when I was younger. Like, 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 honestly. Right. He um, wasn't even. That's not even your era. Like, no. Like yeah. Spike, uh, yeah. A generation before. And I then watched also, a bunch of Spike mm -hmm. movies. Though. Well, yeah. Sure, yeah. Right over like once. Yeah. Got, nah, I didn't. Older, but I didn't watch those until I got older. Like, I didn't watch a lot of shit when I was younger because like I didn't have cable. Right. And, like, I ain't even trying to be funny, but, like, it's, like, I didn't have cable, so, like, I missed out on Cartoon Network. I missed out on, yeah. on like, BET. I you missed out on... Bounce, Good yeah, Times. Like, no, no, uh, not even Bounce. Yeah, 38, yeah. 12, 38, uh, 12, and 32. Basically. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> 38, 12, and 32. Like, Green you know what I'm Rainbow saying? Like, Golden no, Girl. No, Arthur, Caillou. Oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't start watching Caillou until I, I was, like, 11. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I was like, man, I can't watch that. <laughs> that is what everybody gets, little boy. You watch it. what? Little Bill. Oh, yeah, Little Bill, man. Like, you know, I mean, look, and look what they got you. Know they to take all this stuff away from these kids. But yeah, like, you know, uh, the uh, reason I picked up a camera and, like, you know, like, two of my biggest inspirations was Cootie and Cheeky, you know what I'm saying? And, like, you know, like, Cheeky is my mentor now. Man, like, you know, like, like shout out that boy. Actually, he just got nominated for a uh, uh, NAACP uh, CP award. Hmm. Um, and, like, they started this 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 company, this digital platform called Creative Control TV, uh, and like they was hot. Like you know, they did Kanye West's first video through the wire. They did Jesus Walks. They li literally rebranded Currency after he like you know stopped fucking with Wayne. Yeah. Um. They like you know did all Currency videos like you know J Electronica. No 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 no. I'm sorry, not J Elect. Um um um. Uh, Crit. Like you oh, know, like right. like like all that shit. Big and, crit. Yeah, and Shout like you know, big crit. and like their whole platform was just so dope because it was, it wasn't big budgets. You understand what I'm saying? It was like, it was like just like DSLR camera. Like yeah. big, they introduced these. Well, no, not like like they introduced the DSLR camera to culture, and like you know, I kind of watched them growing up, and like you know, I was able to travel by just watching their videos. Like by like, like I was able to travel through their videos and like you know see them go across the world. So finally, I reached out to them, and then ironically, one of the dudes was from New Orleans. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I swear we're everywhere. And speaking of yeah. New Orleans and the culture, we played a song 
when we when we started this episode, and we we can't even go any further without first of all saying rest in peace to rest before in we. Peace. That's we rip, man. Rest yeah, in peace, been, man. man. The my whole childhood character. for the culture. Straight Teen wild. Summit. I remember we be with the the long white tees and the headbands, uh, yeah. patches, oh, yeah. socks. Yeah. Doing the, the yeah. that infamous pelvic pop. Remember yeah. when the dudes used to do that with the t shirts oh, and the yeah. loose shorts? Who child? I always remember some popping. Niggas used to I'm swing the keys. Yeah, yeah all that. Swinging the keys is crazy. Yeah. I remember that. He, we swing literally lost keys. this month, already 2020, yeah, a crazy, big crazy. A Take big care of yourself, man. Health problems, man. Way too soon. Man. Was, be, be cautious man. with what you eat. I'm thinking about 40, the transition. 42. That about was stopping to wild. eat meat. And, on but, meat. But you know how we do it here. We we'll had try. to give them a second line or a couple of second lines. They had one. A few seconds after. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they was ready. They like, was but back. yeah, man, like, you know. Um, I think he had kidney failure or something. I have I think no he clue. Said it. Said yeah, yeah man. Like, shout out Weeby, though, man. Like, uh, uh, Weeby, a lot of people a legend, with dog. Him. Like, you know, all this lesson for sure. You know what's crazy, though? That video of that uh, talent show, I never knew that was him. Really? Because, like, when I was doing research, like, you know, trying to find videos for Katrina Babies, I found that video. And I never knew that that was me. Well, he was a lot slimmer back then. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I heard he had, like, a famous dance with the crab. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was him. He was a part of the... um, the Rangers, I the think. Rangers. Yeah, he was in the he dance was, crew. Was yeah, he was the. Yeah, for I, yeah. one of them, one of them, but yeah, he was a part of the. I miss talent shows. That's we need to crazy. bring that back. Oh, Somebody tell Wai Wayne. Look, shit. I would say bring back Teen Summit, but these teens be on some other stuff out here. They don't even. No, you know. Chaz, we was yeah. in high school with the talent shows though. But yeah. I went to. I used to go to the St. Nog talent show every year. That's high That's school. High school. Shit. You, you talking about bring back talent shows? That's we should. Right. Adult I talent mean, shows. we're not gonna be. In, I mean, I'm down for adult talent shows too. What sure. you gonna do, jazz magic tricks? I can balance. <laughs> no, can I can balance, balance Cheerios on my tongue. That's poo. That's oh, not cool. You try it. You think that's a you, so you feel no, like No, I'm not. I'm okay. trying that out. Okay. I did. Nah, I did. Nigga, I'm sorry. You hit the biggest Q <laughs> number. No, no, we got time. Show. Like, how the hell did you find that out? What's like, she sitting around um, doing? Oh, <laughs> I got six Cheerios. Cheerios on my tongue. Y'all don't hate no whatever. Y'all can't do What's it. What's the most you ever balance on one tongue? Well, are you count the ones <laughs> that be stuck together? Yeah, they count. About eight. About eight. That's stupid. But no, on a serious note, for the culture, since you up here, we just have Teen show. Summit talent shows. Talent yeah. show, oh, man. Yeah. Teen Summit was like Teen Summit. I ain't gonna lie. I that used was to it. like like you Dicky know, dresses. Yeah, man. And like and like Dickie like dresses. My most nights, man. Everything. Uh, yeah. Every color. Y'all too young Big to even know about show? the real the, the old what? people talent shows. It was the w- Jabos. No. It was what? It was WYOD talent show. I did yeah. go to that one year. Yeah, 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 I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People used to have no idea them. what that is. <laughs> they used to Sound like a you news station. Been? It was. It was a radio station. Oh, right, right. yeah. oh W-Y-L-D. <laughs> yeah, I remember that night. <laughs> what else? Going to the, the lake on Sundays the for lake. Easter? I mean, they still got that shit. You know what I'm saying? Not, yeah. not the, the, not plaza. the plaza. The plaza. <laughs> the what? The plaza. <laughs> the plaza. <laughs> uh, all that rest in peace to the plaza. Dollar movie shows. I can't lie, though. I miss that. But all everything's all coming back, though. Strong. Everything's coming back. The get the sweet subtweet Sean has the get the get. And I just want, and I want y'all to know that that's not a new song. It's not, you know, clear that up. Up. it's but, not a new song. But 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 much credit to my dude Sean. Yeah. Nigga wasn't thinking about that song. Like, Definitely like, wasn't. like until Sean revamped it. But that's what I'm we said that a couple of episodes ago. I feel like now the culture truly starting to appreciate the New Orleans sound. Mm-hmm. Like how that could become All a whole but channel. They like you too, though. Oh yeah, yeah. They're and we because we, it's hot. And I think we decided on that same show that y'all could use it, but give us our credit. Well, like don't I mean, use it and then don't. Right. And like you know, at this point, like you know, I'm seeing like you know all these different cities and shit, like you know, mm-hmm. make money off of like what's theirs, but it's because they have gatekeepers and like people like you know. We don't have none. Like you know, you, you know, could be. our producers need to get paid. Our artists, like you know, that are making this shit needs to get uh, paid. Um, I just pray that like you know like little. L, like got mad money because his numbers went up for sure on Apple Music. Yeah. But like I I, I don't even know how the paperwork like you know exactly. for that shit was. And that's yeah. the whole thing. We don't even know. <laughs> we don't <laughs> even know what a stream yeah. works. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. We don't even know what that shit even mean. Yeah. You, know what I'm you can find out though when you get in, when you're an artist how much you get paid man. for your streams. Man, man. I think Tidal give the most money for um, but streaming that's still, music. That's still an ongoing mystery of man. the industry because nobody really knows. Exactly. Right? And you like dog, saying? like I told Sean, like uh, actually I told Sean. Uh, yesterday I said, bro, dog, because like 
this ain't Sean first time going viral. Like, you know, right. Sean, Sean go viral with everything. You know, like, Sean Dances made that whole dance, stuff. like, the uh, Dolphin, which later, like, was on uh, 2K, you know what I'm saying, on the uh, game. Yeah. And, and it's like... He gotta like, get his money. Yeah, so did so he like, come up with the get the gat challenge? Like, yeah, and and what is it? Everybody just showing their hammers. It's the get, yeah, it's like the no, 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 no. Like it's 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 like a it's mainly about dancing, dance. dancing. dancing. It's just, it's and then the app, what's the app? Thriller, Thriller, Thriller. Thriller yeah. yeah, so like you know, and he did it with my grandma. I gotta show y'all. And dog, oh, uh, like I told him, I said, bro, <laughs> if you really knew that this bitch would have went viral. Duh, I would have tried to buy like the masters to that song or something, yeah. or the rights because like literally LSU used that shit. Yeah. LSU got shirts now. Get the game. I would have patent patent the name like all oh, that, that was shit. a whole Christmas challenge. Like yeah. I hope that was the holiday. And then the holiday thing. And then as don't of late, try that at home. Folks. And then and then as of today, they did that shit in the White House. Man, that's no. a whole different level of viral. And it's it, New Orleans. It, 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 Shout out it, it, Sean, man. House. And it's New Orleans. That's fire. Bro. We, I just, I can't. As much as I always talk shit and say I want to move away and go away, like it's like ain't no home. Place like home. You know what it's I just no, thought about no speaking it. about New Orleans? New Orleans? What's up with the, this white van shit, dog? <laughs> the uh, white van? Yeah. I don't park kidnapped. by them. That shit crazy. People getting kidnapped. Yeah. I do not park by them. There's a girl I, I knew in high school. She married to this man. They showed, they showed it on there on one news channel because they're trying to hide the shit, dog. But somebody oh. tried to kidnap her, and her husband came outside. The dude shot at him and everything. This was like two weeks ago. No. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Gentilly. White, them white Damn. vans and all that. That wasn't even a white van. Oh, that was it a pickup wasn't. truck. It was a regular Who car. Who be yeah. in there, though? Like, 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 Shh, get the gat. What type you of people be in there? Like? <laughs> you, you, you're in New Orleans. You can legally carry fire um, Ladies, make sure you get a pistol. I, I'm and trying to. You get a pistol in your hand. Look, because I got a taser, and I'm scared. They got a laser beam down You can't have taser nobody, so. I'm going to tase him. Fuck around and tase my show. Get you the 18... 18 I want a gun. Pace. And at first, I was so you against guns. One. I don't want a gun. Get now, a, I'm like, yeah, look. Get a gun. I don't even like going to the mall by myself. Right. I look yeah, at who's parked that. next to me when I park and who's parked next to me they when I get back. They making it bad. Nigga can't shoot on hoes right now. Niggas kidnapping hoes. It's cute hoes, to shoot on women hoes. Oh, you man. might want to shoot on a hoe. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> a female. But yeah. Everybody's spooked. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm they go. It's yeah. hard to make. Trying to kidnap me. It's Fuck hard it. to make yeah. an advance at a woman because we so on guard. Yeah, and yeah. if you're not on guard, like real shit, I think you should. You but it's should so just crazy. be aware yeah. of your surroundings. But like, like you know, it's just some crazy. Like, like you know, man, I got a, I got a little sister and like like you know, I got a niece. Like 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 it's some crazy shit going on. Like yeah. I don't blame Kids. my son. Like, like I got daughters. Yeah, got like it's crazy daughters. shit going on. Like you know, like these niggas really wilding with these yeah. vans. <laughs> you know shit what I'm saying? Like, Every time I see a white van, I be looking like. But then. They, they showed a van and it was like um, I don't I don't know where it was it might have not been here but the girls got in the van and screamed as loud as they could and you couldn't hear nothing they like opened the door did you see that yeah, turned the van how they the find studio. that van though Sound I don't know then there's a van without handles yeah some, 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 it's, it's weird shit yeah. y'all just need to be safe and maybe we do need to get get, get the, the gas absolutely get the gas <laughs> absolutely but at, at the end of the day, State. New Orleans, man. Man. I, I get mad when people from out of town come here, but I would I would come here all the time too. You can't stop them. You can't. That's what they this 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 what this all of this is for. The out of towners. But for them to come enjoy the right. culture and dip. And then Bug the gets to gets to showcase the culture. Oh yeah, absolutely. Got I'm, to. I'm 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 just waiting on a day when you get like a, uh I don't know the award categories. What's the the film award oh, and the, stuff. Uh, Oscar? Yeah, I can't nah, there you go. I, was I, I already got my speech go prepared. Globe, I already got my... That's the TV show. That's bro, television. I was about to say Epsi, that's sports. Yeah, yeah I'm just... <laughs> I already got we my speech are, We ready. are so... <laughs> Nobel Proud. I keep saying that. I sound like an old TD. No, no, I'm so good. proud of you. A TD. I mean, you but no. Son, you got to use me in one of your movies, son. I feel like I'd be a fire actor, you hear me? Easy. Yeah. Man, Easy. look, you if you need know. to use the set <laughs> for some, you know, I like throwing plates and stuff. You know, video or whatever. Oh, yeah. Throwing plates? I, want, I told you. She used to be a video girl. I remember that. I was one video girl. <laughs> was vixen out here? I wasn't a vixen. I was an actress. <laughs> you saw That's what they call it. That's what the bitches be saying. I had my clothes on. Uh-uh, I had my clothes on. I was acting. I got to throw some plates <laughs> that my boyfriend because he was cheating. That was good, huh? That was How good. many takes y'all did on that? 
We couldn't do a lot because the dude, I was throwing his plates. His dad came home was like, y'all throwing my fucking plate? <laughs> I'm like, dog, you're going to tell your daddy? China, okay? Oh, <laughs> I was like, uh-uh, I got to go. <laughs> Shout out to Wade. No, oh, man. Shout out to New Orleans artists, though. Yes. We, we really some fucking, like, yeah, we, be thinking, we be winging this shit, what? son. I'm like, winging we it. Really this spot right winging. here, son. Pull out your camera for the police <laughs> come, son. It. Right here, son. Okay. About to go to so jail. We right. really winging it. But guess what? We shot a video. Shout out CD. We shot a video in front a church one time we were we recording the whole video and like 45 minutes for the video was over everybody started leaving church they had masks going on but <laughs> people walking out looking at us like we what crazy doing? You know I mean? yeah. in front of the pilot um, was great you too. gotta get it you gotta ready. get it no it wasn't good at the crib as soon as i get up the elevator cd got the camera on. he's shooting a video yeah. walking on the elevator i'm like Duh. you can't be doing this shit i mean video, wally world bro, bro. Do you remember that video? Wally world. <laughs> guess what all this shit y'all talking about has gone viral speaking That's of walmart cool. somebody just got shot in walmart oh, was that down here that was in in Gentilly yeah, again. In Gentilly. That's wild. We got a, a, that's city, another man. thing. Trauma. But I, I think this is a perfect time. We didn't went. We talked about how New Orleans then went viral. Mm -hmm. We got people that's gonna make it happen for the city. Watch out for the and white vans. Not forgetting, watch out for the white vans. Watch out for Katrina babies. <laughs> One of the best documentaries <laughs> about to come. You hear me? Thank you, dog. Real you should be tough. your voice at the beginning. I really feel like you started that. Towards the end of your college, uh, yeah, I did, yeah, yeah man. Um, I mean, I started it like, like literally, I wasn't even that serious. Like, I, I was just on the phone. My cousin, like, she called during Christmas crying because, like, she was like, "Man, I miss home, whatever, blah, blah, blah." And then she heard that I was a film student. And, like, she was like, "You know, one day, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna let you read my diary, and then you, you gonna do a movie about me." And, yeah. And I say, "Why?" And then she told me, like, "What she been her through. fucking Katrina story." Yeah. Like. About her and like and, and and like her kids, I was like, dog. You went to Dilla for film. Niggas went through that. You know what I'm saying, huh? You went to Dilla for film. Uh, at first I went for theater, mm -hmm. and, and then I changed my major to film. Speaking yeah. of theater, Shout after out Dilla, um, you heard me. after this Katrina Babies documentary comes out, we gonna do the play. We gonna have a cartoon. Man, look, stay I'm tuned. Ain't no opinions. I'm even be we about in to, that. We about to talk about this yeah. stuff offline yeah. because <laughs> I'm trying we need to, to be in that. A coloring book. That's the piece of what we be, man. You hear me? You already know.